going carnivore in Thailand. This is a really late production. Uh, I try to put out a video every single day for a couple reasons. One, because I like consistency. And two, because I think YouTube likes consistency and they'll show your videos to more people. And to be honest, I feel like I'm doing so well that I want to tell the world to hopefully motivate them that if this old fat fart can do it, anybody can do it. Now, today I woke up at 6 o'clock again, and I pretty much by 6.20 was in the pool and stayed till about 9 o'clock. And I keep moving almost the entire time I'm in the pool, and I exercise. Then I came in, and I was a wee bit hungry. And I had two small pieces, by small I mean about that big, you know, two inches by two inches, from two separate previous meals where I couldn't eat the entire steak. I was full, so I stopped. So I took both of those small pieces and I ate them. And then uh, basically, we didn't do much today. Now, I was torn. And I had asked Noy if she wanted to take the two and a half to three hour drive to go to the far west side of Bangkok to the Impact Center where they're having the Bangkok Hot Rod Show. And I mean, they've got real, a lot of American style hot rods, rat rods, 61 low riders, Chevy low riders, and and custom Camaros and custom Corvettes and and weird builds. And I saw a video that my buddy Chad from CB Media, check out his channel, did from 2022 of a friend he knows of who has this beautiful white Camaro, all customized, and also has a white Corvair. And this Corvair is all customized. I mean, it's got racing seats inside, and it's got a roll bar inside, which reminds me of my first car that I bought the second day I was 16 years old. Two days after I was 16, I bought this car. I'd saved up money, and I bought a 65 Corvair with a four-speed in it. And it was a four-door, not a two-door. But it was reasonably priced. And people used to make fun back then of Corvairs. They called them uh, death traps and lie, die, die, die. And... Uh, just a small story here. I'm going somewhere with this. When I got it, I liked to drive fast because I drove since I was like 13 on the, on the street. My mom would let me slip out with the car. And from the time I was 13 to 16, I drove absolutely picture perfect Speed limit 35, I drove 35. Speed limit 45, I drove 45. Come to a full stop, count to three, check traffic both ways, go. I mean, I, I wanted no chance of having some cop pull me over. But then I got my license the day I was 16, and then I got my car to, on the second day after I was 16, which was like June 5th. And then I drove like a maniac. And I decided I was going to customize the car. So I put like the widest BF Goodrich TA racing radials that I could find on the car on all four corners. And believe me, that car could corner. That car could handle. 
and I used to race a lot of people in a lot nicer cars, 327 Corvettes on these old roads in Cincinnati that were all windy and back roads. They couldn't keep up. That car handled so well. It really was. Now, I had a friend of mine who helped me maintain it. He was much older than me at the time, and his last name was Kessler. And he had a white racing Corvair that he raced at the drag strip. And on the side of the car was painted Nader's Nightmare because Ralph Nader hated Corvairs. Made a big thing that they should be recalled. And this had a Corvair motor in it, souped up, and ran 10 second quarter miles in a Corvair. So I saw this Corvair on one of the older videos of this Bangkok Hot Rod Show, and I asked Noy if she wanted to go to the Hot Rod Show today. And to my disappointment, Noy says no. <laughs> we had just came about a month ago. We drove to the Impact Center, which is an easy three-hour drive because you can get to Bangkok pretty quick, two, and two hours. But the problem is you coming up Bangkok on the east side and impact center is on more or less the northwest side. And to get from the east side to the northwest side, it's not that far, but you got to add an hour easy, maybe an hour and a half because it's a Saturday. So she said no, so we didn't go. But what I did do today relating to the carnivore diet is... Tonight around 5 o'clock, I said, I want to go take a walk. Now, it wasn't a very far walk. And to be honest, I was surprised that when I started taking a walk, I started getting a little bit of cramp in my hip. But I put in 531 steps just walking around the block in the, in the building. And it gave me a little bit of energy to come back here and make this video. So... A journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. A journey of 10,000 steps, I guess, starts with 531 steps. So if I actually want to get 10,000 steps in, all I got to do is get to a point where I can make two trips around my block here in the, in the community of Villas and do that 10 times a day. And I'll get over 10,000 steps in. Be nice if I did. Everybody says, if you want to lose weight, do a lot of walking. The more weight I lose, the easier it is to walk. If you're not really, really heavy, take 150 pounds and put it in a knapsack over across your back and then go around the block once and you'll know what I feel like. So anyway, that's my little video for tonight. It's a good day. It didn't rain much. It rained a little, but it was real early in the morning. And uh, I want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Leave your comments. Oh, I wanted to touch on one other thing before I go. See if you if you if you don't wait to the very end, sometimes you'll miss something. Somebody named Lulu Jake said that they lived here in Thailand for the three hottest months to see if they could handle it. And they used a thousand kilowatts of electricity in April. And they said, Aircon makes anything possible. Well, if you're ever thinking of living here in Thailand, then Take this into account. In July of 2022, when I got here and first went to my hotel, it was so hot. During the days, it was 34, 35 degrees Celsius. That's like 95 degrees. Sun bakes down, makes you feel so hot. I came to my first hotel, and I used to keep it at 20 degrees Celsius because everything's in Celsius over here, which is like 68 to 70. Well, now, 
I have acclimated myself to where in the house I keep it between 26 and a half and 28 and a half degrees Celsius. Now that's between 80 and 83 degrees. When I lived in the States, my house was always 70 to 72. Always kept it there. Never did try to acclimate myself because, you know, we were never in a condition where it was always going to be hot. So, you know, sometimes it was cold, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it was spring and fall and was nice. So I never tried, but I sweat less now than I've ever sweat in my life. And I can have my house, let's say, 12 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than I've ever had it in my life. And I don't sweat. Now, occasionally, after a meal, I'll feel a little hot. Now, up above me, we've got a ceiling fan that's on all day long. And we've got one air conditioner that runs all day long. Now, in this living area here that you're looking at behind me, basically right above me, there's an air conditioner on the ceiling. Way back there in behind me where you see the ceiling fan turning, there's another air conditioner that I never hardly ever use. And up in front of me, behind the camera, is another air conditioning zone that I can turn on and never use. Now, if it's... 39 degrees and it's been that here if i want to make it 20 in this place we can make it 20 but you don't have to i'm saying if, if you're in a, a warm environment whether it's here the philippines vietnam cambodia indonesia malaysia bali anywhere you're at you no matter what you can slowly acclimate yourself and i'm just saying real slowly just you know Go from 20 to 21. Do that for a month and then make it 22. And do that for a month. You'll work yourself up. But what we haven't been able to do is I used to like to sleep with a cold and the covers on. My house, I kept it really cold in the bedrooms with a ceiling fan. Now, the be all the bedrooms have ceiling fans here in this villa. But we do keep it cold. Last night it was 19 degrees Celsius, which, you know, that's, uh, that's like 67, 65 in the bedroom. And we pull the covers up over, over our shoulders and just let our nose stick out, and we like it cold. So I've never tried to acclimate that. I'm sure I could, but I'd... old habits die hard. Thanks for watching Going Carnivore in Thailand. Don't be lazy. Don't be slow. If you need to lose weight or feel better, this is the way to go. Or at least it's a way to try. If You might be an omnivore or herbivore, but I would say it's definitely a good way to try. Thanks for watching. You have a great day. That's all, folks.